Hey guys, this is Anthony with quadquestions.com and I'm here today to show you the TBS Tango radio transmitter and FPV monitor. Uh, this is the latest and greatest from Team Black Sheep and we're happy to be some of the first people to have our hands on this. Uh, we're expecting that the price is going to be between $200 and $250 retail and we're expecting a release date sometime this July. So you can pre-order this radio right now from quadquestions.com and there's a link right here that you can click to do that. First thing that you'll notice when you look at this transmitter is that there is a 4.2 inch diagonal FPV display right here. Uh, it's big and it's bright so you can see it in the daylight and it's actually a really nice FPV screen for flying uh, first person view. And when you're flying first person view, uh, if you have a drone with a camera like this one, basically uh, you can uh, just use this radio transmitter without the need for FPV goggles or anything else. So it's an all-in-one solution for uh, what you need to fly a first-person view racing drone. Uh, we also like the video game feel that we get when we're using this screen. We've flown over mountains with this with ease uh, without the need for goggles or any other equipment. It really gets you right into the center uh, so you can see your stick movements and, and see where you're flying. Uh, so that is a really nice feature of this radio. Uh, the other thing that it comes with is this nice uh, lanyard strap. And it also comes with a cable for people that are hardcore goggle fans. Gives you a, a, just a really nice uh, uh, way to uh, power your goggles and get your video just from one uh, unit here. So the other nice feature with this is that there's no blue screen. so. If you're flying at the limits of your range and your video starts to cut out, uh, you'll notice that there's static on this screen. So this has been built by FPV pilots and we know that we'd rather have a very, very faint video signal than have something go to blue screen and that's a problem that a lot of viewing devices have, uh, especially on the lower end. So they really have uh, thought about everything when they designed this. So the other nice thing about this is uh, your thumb and and pinch pilots. Uh, both pilots can feel pretty comfortable with the way that they've molded this. So you can see the palms of my hands fit there nicely for flying. Uh, if, you, if you're a pinch flyer or if you like to fly with your thumbs, it's also very comfortable to do so. When it comes to the transmitter part of this, uh, this radio doesn't have a built-in transmitter. You actually have to buy a transmitter to fit the technology for your racing drone. So whether you fly Spectrum or FR Sky or choose to go with a TBS Crossfire long range system or a DTF UHF system, uh, basically it's made so that everything is just hot swappable in the back here. And you can see that uh, we have like the TBS Crossfire for instance that fits right in the back of this radio, pops right in. Uh, you can also choose something like an FR Sky XJT module, like this one, that would give you an FR Sky uh, radio option. Uh, you can also use uh, DTF UHF long range system if you wanted to, uh, or uh, it even fits the Immersion RC Easy UHF module. So uh, basically, it outputs a PPM signal or it has specific protocols for Crossfire and XJT. Um, so it's really universal in that regard. You can use it with pretty much any technology out there. Not only are the features of this radio nice in terms of function and, and first person view, they're also nice in terms of the menu that they've got on here. So the menu is integrated into the screen that's on this radio and you can access the menu by using this one button down here. This is a nice metal uh, like scroll wheel and you can click it to enter the menu. So I'll do that now if I click and hold Then I can scroll down to drone remote display and Setup is super simple. So like we said, this is a great entry-level radio for people that are just getting into the hobby because it's not overly complicated uh, it has uh, preset mixes and it's just designed to get you flying as quickly as possible so for instance, if I wanted to create a new drone, I could just add a model. I can select the name and you can just scroll through quickly. You notice I'm doing this with one finger. Uh, if I wanted to name this uh, the QQ, uh, that's all we need to do. And then a quick hold, QQN. Uh, you can also select the type. Uh, it's pre-configured for clean flight. 
DJI NASA, 3DR Pixhawk, or the OpenPilot Tau Lab software. These mixes aren't the only ones that are available as Team Black Sheep is constantly updating the firmware and adding new configurations to the list. So if you don't see it here, don't fret. Uh, there's some extra ones coming out, including one for Blade, and uh, you'll see more as uh, this product matures. The other nice thing about this is uh, the scan features for the video part. Uh, you've got all of your scan features here, so you can uh, just push the scan button and it will automatically scan through all of the video channels available. Uh, it's also nice because it shows you on the screen what channel you're on and the frequency. So you never uh, have to guess, you just know where, what you're tuned to. Well, the radio also has a uh, troubleshooting and fine-tuning built in so if you needed to troubleshoot it you can reconfigure the calibration for the gimbals and uh, you can do all of that through the on-screen menu as well. Uh, there's also an option to turn off the rear module if you just want to use it as an FPV screen. Uh, if you just wanted to use the radio without this screen you can turn this off to save power too uh, so that's really nice. Uh, other key features that we have here is uh, that this radio is chargeable via a USB port. Uh, this is really nice. Uh, most radios you need to have a wall charger or something to charge them. Uh, this will just let you charge with any micro USB cable. So that's a really cool feature. Full spec sheet for all of the specs on this radio you can find in the description. So be sure to check there. There's also a speaker down here that will uh, give you alerts and alarms as needed uh, based on RSSI and other things that you can configure. So looking at the front of the radio, you've got uh, two three position switches. And you've got two two position switches, which should be plenty for any um, FPV racing drone and even some uh, more advanced photography models. Another nice feature is that the power button uh, is something that you have to press for a few seconds to turn this thing off. So if I just quickly press it, I don't accidentally shut off my radio and have a crash. And it's nicely hidden down here, so you actually have to hold it to turn the radio off. So the other thing to note is the gimbals in this radio feel nice and smooth. Uh, there's a detent on the throttle. Uh, you can set that up on any um, gimbal that you wish. Uh, you can also adjust the spring tension, which is nice. Uh, these gimbals are very comparable to many other radios uh, in this price range, such as the FR Sky Tyrannus X9D Plus, uh, which is a very popular uh, complicated radio that doesn't feature an FPV display built in. Okay, so you'll also notice here that there's digital trims on the radio, so if you want to adjust your trim, you've got a visual perspective of where it is including beeping to tell you uh, in different pitches where you are. So a lot of people have a question about what kind of antenna is provided with the TBS Tango and up here you can see in this access port we actually have the TBS patch antenna uh, built into this radio and you can also uh, choose many different uh, antennas that will be coming on the market for replacing this one. Uh, and it's detailed in the instruction manual on how to do so. Uh, but this antenna works really well. You just kind of point this in the direction that you're flying and uh, you, you can really see where you're going uh, with ease. All right, and last thing you see is that there's also slider switches on the top. So you can use these to control gimbals or anything that you can think of uh, that need a center sprung uh, dial switch like that. So very gamer style, uh, very cool feature of the TBS Tango radio from Team Black Sheep. So overall we really think that this radio is an excellent choice for beginners to the FPV hobby because it allows you to use the radio to control your drone and also use the radio to fly first person view without the need for goggles or anything else. So this is pretty much all that you need to get started flying FPV and having fun out there. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Quad Questions and for more information about awesome quads, check out the QQ190 racing quad and the TBS Vendetta racing quad. Both of these are ready to fly and amazing.